Okay, so uh, That's what we're thinking, guys. It is Sunday. I do believe it's the first of April. I think so. Yes, it is the first of April. Um April Fools. Um, still waiting for parts. I have some stuff, but I don't have everything. But still waiting for parts. So we don't really have much to do, so I am going to build another tool today. Um, it's to remove main bearing caps out of an LS engine. They are very difficult to get out because they're pinched into the block. So you use a couple pry bars and pinch bars, and it's a whole song and dance to get the get them out. So we are. I'm going to make a tool that drops in and then you remove it remove them that way by leverage so i'm gonna pause you guys and i'm gonna cut all of it before i fab it and show you how what pieces i made and then we'll put it all together and then we'll use it okay so i'm gonna pause you guys we took this got this engine for free it's an old truck block all that wants a crankshaft out of it but because it's got a broken connecting rod, so remember guys, to buy those ARP bolts. Keep wasting your money on them. Nothing happened to the stock bolts. And look at the connecting rod, it broke right here. Look at it. Nothing wrong with that. I bet you when I take this off, that bearing will look brand new. So, that's what I'm about to do now, is take these off here, so I can, uh, so I can uh, work in this area. Look at that. That is unbelievable. Look at those main bearings. I meant not main bearings, rod bearings. They look literally brand new. Look at the cutting rods broken. They look brand freaking new. The journal is like polished clean. That's unbelievable. We're gonna pick it wow. Up. We gotta get the oil pan off of it and then we're gonna put the That is truly amazing. Yeah, those ARP bolts keep down. buying them. You can see our head gas Not for these motors, they never break. Safe. They never, ever, ever break. It's completely split up. Ever. Here. The L LS1, LS2 rods were weak. The connecting rods were weak and they would always break. But um, the actual. The other side bolts, like the, the, the connecting rod bolts, never, they never fail. That that ever. We're ever, right ever, here, ever. So I've never seen right one fail. I've been doing this 30 something years. Never, ever, ever seen one of these motors fail because of bolts. So, it's a big waste of money. Anyway, maybe for heads, you know, head studs, I could see that because you're putting a bunch of boost through them. But, not down here, not the lower end. This look, this is just too good. So, okay, gonna pause you. Get back to tool making. Okay, folks. I got a little ahead of myself and uh, it was giving me a little bit of a hard time making this tool. Um, so I'm sorry, but uh, I had to just keep rolling and doing what I was doing to build it because I couldn't go in steps because it just fought me the entire way. It fought me the entire way to build this. But I'm gonna grab my tripod here and I am gonna put you guys on a tripod and I'm gonna show you what I made. So I'm gonna pause you for a second while I put you in a tripod. Okay, so basically what I made here, what I'm talking about is I made this tool you can see it. It's a little barbaric looking, but I don't know, can you see? Let me see. It's a little barbaric looking. But what happens is, is it, these main bearing caps get stuck in this in the block. So you take your bolts out, there's six bolts. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, these bolts here, when they tighten down, it pulls that block and it and it sandwiches these things in there pretty good. So, and you usually have to get up pry bars in there to try and get them out, and it, it fight, it'll fight you. I've, I, it'll fight you. So, I'm going to grab 
my sockets and we're gonna pull these out. I'll do it all on the camera. Let me just get, I'm gonna pause you, go grab the sockets and everything. And then we're gonna turn, we're gonna test it. What I had to do it, cause it kept rolling on me. So I had to put a spacer here so it pushes against the crankshaft. And I had to weld these two pins on here to give it some stability cause it wanted to roll when I was using it. Now it's, it's solid. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot here. So I'm gonna pause you. I'm gonna get my, my guns all ready so I can get this apart. Okay, so I'm going to pull these main cap bolts out now. Oh, there's one, two. Yeah, they're weird. They're 15 and 13s and 10s in the side. Okay, I already got these out. These were rotted in there. They're in there good. Let's try this out. Huh. Would you look at that? Damn. The bearings look brand new. The mains look pretty damn good. That worked awesome. Huh? Let's just try proof of concept one more time just to make sure. Where's Laetus in here? Okay. Give me the gun. Give me the gun here. All right, so let's just go over the build list. Okay. So basically I went to Home Depot and I got a piece of half inch bar stock, hot rolled. And I had a well, I, I cut that to the width of the block, a little bit wider than the block, okay? These arms are made out of one by one quarter, okay? And then I made a pivot two inches in between here and here and here and here I drilled and tapped I drilled and tapped this for that bolt to go in there and then I ground them a little short and then I plug weld them and ground them flat so they wouldn't hit the bar stock okay these I just this is court this is a uh, 3 16 um, by one inch 3 16 thick these are three inches long I drilled a half inch hole and then just put this pin in there and plug weld that on the back side. So it's smooth up here. Okay, and I use the same bar stock here, the same round stock, and that's where I made my legs for here and here. So let me uh, put you back on a tripod. And that's how that, that's the whole concept is that it goes in and you lift your main bearing cap right out and uh, it works perfect it works absolutely perfect so no more fighting with pinch bars and pry bars I'm really excited um, it's a good day we got something accomplished so I already welded all these nuts and bolts so I'm gonna have to kind of paint it maybe I'll just dip it in flex seal some rubber handles on it or something but 
Here you go. Oh, I also had to notch these out here with uh, my plasma cutter. I use a plasma cutter and cut a half, like a half moon, just to give it plenty of movement. That's why it looks a little barbaric, but it, it works perfect. Lift some more pieces right out of there. Lift some bean bearings right out of there. I can't believe it. It works mint. But. Anyways, yeah, you, you use the, the counterweight here, the crankshaft. That gives it a little stability, too. That's why I welded that little block in there. But there you go. Here's your, your weekly tool video. <laughs> DIY main bearing cap LS puller. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends. And um, have a good day, have a great night, and have a better tomorrow.